Okay, so here we are doing a Dragon Link version 3 um, telemetry test using the Eagle Tree Vector connected to a version 3 Dragon Link receiver. Uh, we've got uh, 150 milliwatt 1.3 gig uh, VTX uh, standard HS 1177 camera. Of a version 1 GPS just there. Uh, we'll be doing interference tests uh, with GPS and the VTX and also the um, Dragon Link version 3. Um, I've got my goggles here just basically verifying that we have a signal which you probably can't see. Yeah, just about seeing there. Anyway, that's just for me so I can see that it's there. Um, so we have the Dragon Link version 3 connected to my Tyrannis. Um, it is bound and the blue lights indicate that we do have solid telemetry. <coughs> uh, so the telemetry is done through the UART port and it's done using two wires, the black and the orange, which are the middle two connections. And they are just connected. I've set it to pin sorry to uh, servo channel 6 on the receiver and you can see there's just a signal and black cable so on to the interesting bit so go into Dragon Link software uh, it's worth noting if you are using Windows 10 uh, I have found that you have to run it as administrator to get it to work properly hey ho, uh, easy to fix um, so go to main setup and as you can see, down here, we have telemetry. Happy days. So, what does this mean? Well, it means if you've got a suitable um, phone or tablet or droid planner on your uh, laptop, you can connect via either via Bluetooth uh, to the Dragon Link version 3 or via uh, a USB cable. Um, I've been doing some reading and apparently Droid Plan is a bit, uh, has a bit of a problem with Bluetooth on some devices uh, so <clears throat> I'll probably be using the USB cable but hey ho, let's give it a go. So let's connect. Connected. And Disconnected. Oh, that's typical. Connected. It was working a minute ago but now it's not going to play ball. Oh, there we go. Yeah, we've got. So if I roll the vector like this, you'll see, and it's disconnected again. Disconnected. Let's try the other one. Uh, dee -dee 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 -dee, not tower. Let's try tower. Uh, we'll connect. <laughs> this was working a minute ago. Sod's law. Oh no, there we go, I think we're connected. Yes, we can see there that you can see the pitch and roll is moving as I'm moving the vector. Uh, this version of tower isn't great because you don't get all the data. Let me try one of the other ones. But you can see there, at the top, 16.3 volts running a 4 cell LiPo. Try draw panel version three. Nope, it's not going to work. Sods, flaming law. Okay, let's try draw panel version two once more. It does work. Disconnected. Settings. So you can see, I've got my telemetry set to Bluetooth. Uh, do -do 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 -do. So let's go back. Connect. Connected. Armed. Yay, there we go. So, yep, yeah, and you can see I'm moving and that's working. And uh, 16.3 volts. Disconnected. Amps, and it's disconnected again. But anyway, you get the idea. Data's coming through uh, to the PC via the USB cable. So I'm going to load up Mission Planner on my PC and see what funky things we can do with that. So, also just for reference, in the Dragon Link 
radio modem and telemetry, telemetry easy for me to say tab. Uh, Bluetooth is set to Dragon Link Mavlink. Expansion connection is set to radio modem, and I'm using 57k600 for the border rate. That's what is recommended by Dragon Link, and is also what's recommended in the config file for the Eagle Tree Vector. Um, that is pretty much it for now, I think. So just to go over the setup again, running a four cell lipo into the into the Eagle Tree version one GPS. I have got a little toroid there, so I'm going to be testing what the uh, sensitivity to uh, the 1.3 gig uh, VTX is when I place the GPS next to the VTX and see how that affects it. I'll also be doing some tests with the VTX on some digital and analog servos um, and I'll also be doing tests of the GPS mounted directly next to the Dragonlink version 3 because this does have a built-in 30 milliwatt transmitter as well for the downlink. Um, that's about it I think. Uh, Tyrannus, everybody knows what that is. Um, yeah, subscribe, uh, ask questions, let me know what you think. All right.